This very long stampede in the market is not uncommon. It's not unusual as we've talked about before. But that also means that pullbacks, consolidations are very shallow, they're very light. And so when you get those opportunities to invest, you know, you kind of have to take them pretty quick because otherwise the market kind of gets away from you. This is what you need to know before the bell this morning. The markets don't care as much about the internals of these economic reports that we get on a regular basis that you kind of would expect. And the markets aren't doing the analysis of saying, oh, well, look, you know, uh, 335,000 people were employed on, on, in January, according to Friday's employment report, but we look underneath the surface, it really wasn't that strong. Markets really don't look at that. They just look at that kind of headline number of, of this data and then kind of move on with life. And that's why markets continue to do a lot better. This economic data has been improving much stronger than, at least on the headline, uh, has been improving much better than what the vast majority of people think, right? I and mean, if you start if you start polling people out in, in the world saying, well, how's your life? It's like, well, it's terrible. I can barely make ends meet. But again, the markets are looking at these overall economic numbers that are coming in and they're still good. So as an investor, we have to be looking at what the data is and then assuming how the market is going to interpret that data. And the market is still very bullish here. Um, Again, on Wednesday, we did have the market sell off, came down, touched the 20 day moving average, uh, retested that support. We talked about needing a bit of a pullback. That happened on Friday. Now, unfortunately, uh, when you're in a really strong bullish stampede like we're in now and have been in really since uh, November the 1st of last year, this very long stampede in the market is not uncommon. It's not unusual as we've talked about before. But that also means that pullbacks, consolidations are very shallow, they're very light. And so when you get those opportunities to invest, you know, you kind of have to take them pretty quick because otherwise the market kind of gets away from you. Now, markets are getting rather extended here once again. Again, you know, we're still holding up this buy signal. We were close to triggering it. This rally following the FOMC meeting has, has kept that uh, signal from actually triggering. Uh, again, we were really close. We're still sitting on that trigger line. I mean, it's, it's very close. So again, wouldn't take much uh, for the market to turn over here and give us a bit of a correction. Now, as we enter the month of February, February tends to be one of the weaker months of the year. And after a very strong January, so we had a very strong January rally following kind of a weak start, um, but that rally was really strong. So generally when you have a very strong January rally, the month of February tends to bring out a negative rate of return. So uh, again, a market that's down one, 2% this month would not be surprising at all. Again, that's not a lot. We're gonna come down, maybe test 4,800-ish, somewhere around there, um, which is the 20-day moving average, potentially the 4,700 level. Uh, if we actually get into a little bit more uh, strong selling or and profit taking as possible. So again, some type of correction in the month of February is very likely. Again, doesn't mean it has to happen. You know, we've kind of been expecting this market to correct here for a little bit because they are very extended, very, remain very overbought on multiple levels. So again, a correction is coming. It's just always the timing that's hard. So again, just understand that when we enter the month of February, that does tend to be a bit of a weaker month. And so if you've been taking on a lot of equity risk, you know, we kind of talked about this recently, you know, take a little bit of profits, rebalance. It doesn't mean go to cash. <laughs> it just means maybe rebalance some risk in your portfolio. If you've got positions with really big gains, kind of trim something back to target weights, those type of things. Because again, very likely sometime this month, we're gonna get some type of corrective action could either be just a consolidation where markets just stop going anywhere for a while, uh, kind of work off some of that overbought condition, or you actually do get a, a little bit of a correction. A, a two to three to five percent correction would not be surprising. Very common for every given year. So again, something will happen either soon or later, but it is going to happen at some point and give you a better entry point uh, for putting capital to work. All right, that's what you need to know before the bell this morning. <laughs>